Aloha and good day, friends and yogis. I'm Nicole Spirit, and here's my special guest, Puka Dog. And today's class is a Pisces constellation class. So Pisces rules the feet, and the symbol is the two fish, and they're actually swimming in opposite directions, or a little bit perpendicular to each other. So I just thought it would be fun to start with a little foot energy. So wherever you are, make your way into an easy pose, Sukhasana, which translates to good place. Put on your favorite Hawaiian shirt. If you don't have one, that's totally cool. But um, as you might have noticed from my videos, I always start with Aloha. So let's do that actually. Let's take the arms out to the sides and we're gonna do four ha breaths, which is the second part of aloha. It stands for how we share the breath is how we share the life. Let's draw the arms up. Feel your spine expand and then exhale and see, sweep away any debris. Let go of something that no longer serves you. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two more. Maybe you look up a little bit. On the inhale, one more breath. Good. Put a smile on your face, deep in your breath, and that's a beautiful antidote for any type of anxiety or trauma or just overthinking in general, just bringing your space to an awareness of how you breathe. So let's bring the hands to each side, kind of pushing down through the palms and just lengthening through the neck. And just notice if your hands even touch the ground, no judgment to yourself or others, just noticing. You can have your fingertips down, you can have your palms flat. My hands are hovering about two inches above the ground. So whatever feels good, just notice yourself lift out of your head, sink your chin just a little bit, continue to smile and deepen the breath. And let's do a couple of swaying motions from side to side. We'll bring the right hand down and lift the left arm up and over, and then go the other direction. How are you doing today? I'm so grateful for your time and energy for you to be here offering you my best high quality yoga. Let's do one more. And we're mostly doing asana practice, which is working with poses. We'll do a little pranayama today as well, some breathing exercises. So lower your arms, stay in your most comfortable seated position. And today we're going to do Nadi Shodan, which is alternate nostril breathing. I just find that this is super calming and allows us to find our Zen without having to do too much. So make your best shaka hand, roll in your three middle fingers. You can use your right hand. And we're going to start by pinching off our right nostril. Inhale through the left. Do your best. Pinch off your left nostril with your baby finger. Exhale right. Keep your elbow a little bit away from your ribs and lungs. Inhale right. Pitch it off. Exhale left. The breath becomes like a horseshoe pattern. Inhale left. Pitch it off. Exhale right. Inhale right, pinch it off, exhale left, inhale left, exhale right, inhale right. Pinch it off, exhale left, inhale left, pinch it 
reach it off, exhale right. And release your hand. Breathe normally now through both nostrils. Notice if you need to blow your nose or if you've got more air coming through one nostril than the other. This is said to help balance the hemispheres of our brain. Sometimes one hemisphere can take over and the right side is said to be the more artistic side, the side that feels like everything is connected. We are one. Um, the left brain is said to be more of the processor. It's more of the idea of the past and the future. It's the more logical brain and um, it's good to find balance. And especially if you are an artist or somebody who's trying to invoke that energy of creativity and imagination, the right side is somewhere where you want to actually bring your attention to. And there's an amazing uh, TED talk called A Stroke of Insight. So I won't say too much more about that right now. Let's do something to empower our beautiful feet. So no matter how you feel about your feet, I just want you to love them today. We're going to extend the legs long, put your hands behind you, and we're going to just tap the feet into the earth, into the mat. Just get a little stimulation. If this doesn't feel good, just do a slower, more gentle and graceful movement. If it feels okay, speed it up. Imagine that you're just letting your spirit run and have some play time. Puka dog's not sure what this is all about, and that's okay. All right, pause. Now come down on your elbows and pick up your feet, and I want you to spiral your feet around each other. So you're going to try to circle the ankles and you're circling at the knees at the same time. Think about your core space, start to go the other way and just allow yourself to open up the fascia of the feet. You like that word? Fascia. <laughs> So that's the slippery tissue that allows your body to have excellent movement. Now pause. We're going to lift up our right foot, put it over our left knee. If you want to, you can lower all the way to the ground. And then we're just going to circle that ankle. Open your toes as much as you can. Continue to smile and deep breathe. Notice if your imagination or your mind is wandering and that's okay. It's all good. We're here to have fun. Let's go the other direction as much as you can, open up your toes. Smile and breathe, it's the secret to life. Good, and then we're gonna stretch the leg long and we're just gonna point and flex at the ankle. If it's available, keep your thighs parallel to each other, a little bit of a leg workout and a little core stimulation here. Good, and then shake your right leg, shake it. Awesome, put your foot down, take the left leg, cross it over. Again, if you feel like you are wanting to lay down, that's super cool too. I've got this beautiful, awesome doggy here. And we're going to circle at the ankle with the left foot now. Hmm, how are you doing? Can we think of something positive and activate our imagination today? Let's go the other way. My favorite day of the week is when Finn goes on his path walk and I get to hang out with my mama puka dog. Good. Circling around, opening up the toes. And then we're going to straighten that left leg long and we're just going to point and flex. Your head can be on the floor. You can still be propped up on your elbows. I found that was getting a little uncomfortable. Honestly, dog pillow puka is probably my most favorite place in the whole wide world. Good, and then we're gonna shake it out. Shake out the leg. Awesome, release your foot down. Now wherever you are, make your way so that your head is flat on the ground. We're gonna keep the knees up and we're gonna do a happy baby. This is an amazing groin stretch, so inner, Part of the thighs, let's lift up the legs, 
Take your hands and bring them behind the thighs. You can have your feet facing as high up as possible. Notice if your sacrum or the base of your spine lifts off the ground, your tailbone, and I want you to peel it back down. So just as much as you can, you flatten your spine to the earth. Then see if it's available. Maybe you try one foot at a time where you reach up to the ankles. Now notice how the arms want to reach up and the shoulder blades come off the ground. Just settle your shoulder blades. If it's available, maybe you even take the outside part of your foot. And again, here we are with the feet. So this should feel good. Tuck your chin, press your tailbone down. And if you want to be a happy baby, you can also rock from side to side. This just feels so good. And just noticing how we store a lot of stuff in the hips. And I want you to really just like love your feet today as much as you can. I love my feet. Think about how they've taken you on this beautiful journey in life. I want you to really love all the parts of your body. Come back to center, pause for a breath, and just visualize beautiful light coming into your lungs as you take your next inhale. And then it sparkles through all of the blood in your body and activates a deep inner knowing within your consciousness. Good, release the arms, legs and hands facing up, and let's just shake out the hands and the feet. You can even get into the elbows and knees a little bit. This is a beetle stuck on its back, and I just want you to shake out any tension. Just be grateful, again, I've said it two million times, that we're not a bug stuck on its back, so we find gratitude floating through us to be able to move, to do something. One more breath, smiling, breathing, shaking out any like muddy water. Just think of like a dog shaking off when they feel stressed or when they get up in the morning, they shake their body. Get, release it all down. How are we gonna get up now? <laughs> Let's do one core exercise and then we'll think about coming to another seated position. So readjust your clothes if you need to, draw the knees in and up, bring your hands to your ears, and we're gonna imagine we're sliding off a top hat, lifting the arms, stretching the legs out long, big inhale breath, and then exhale and draw it back. Now, if this feels like too much, you've got variations. You can leave your head on the floor. Does it almost look like my head is a dog head? That's pretty cool. <laughs> the other option is to just do arms, just do legs, and activate your powerhouse, the part of your body that's the center, your 76,000 nerves in a bundle, the brain of the belly. Let's do two more. And if you need more, if you want more activation, just pause, hold your limbs long, feel that internal vibration in the belly area, bring it back one more time, hold if you can, smile and breathe, I'm alive, feel grateful to be alive, good. Give yourself a hug, head can float down, just squeeze those, thighs into your belly. Again, a little rock if that feels good. And while we're here, just releasing the hands, bringing the feet side by side. We're just going to roll the knees four times in each direction. This is an amazing spinal fluid pump. This is giving you a massage on the sacrum, the base of the spine. It's also activating your powerhouse, your core. When you've done four circles, challenge yourself to slow down and go the other direction. I love me. That can be one of your mantras today. My mantra today is life is beautiful and I'm not taking anything personally. Just notice what life throws at you. Come back to center. And can we take our biggest problem and imagine it's the best thing happening for us right now? Let's bring the feet down, roll onto your side, 
Use those strong arms to push the ground away. And this could be a great time to say, I am strong. Let's do a little foot reflexology. I've been practicing for 25 years. So I want you to take your right foot in your hands and just rub your foot. So start with the ball of the foot and then the instep. And just two or three times rubbing all of the aspects of your foot. Get into your toes a little bit, which represent your brain and your head. And can you, for just a moment, press the center mound of your big toe? So press and release the puffiest part of your toe. And this is actually going to release oxytocin, which is a feel-good hormone that we produce ourselves. We don't need to get a pick-me-up from the outside world. So take a deep breath. Hold your deep breath. Press and release your big toe mound. Good. And then exhale long and smooth. Let's do this one more time. All the while you're pressing that big toe mound. Inhale. Sit comfortably. Pause. Close your eyes, bliss right out. Life is meant to be a joy with ups and downs, but your birthright is joy and magnetism and amazing feel-good energy. Good, if you haven't already, exhale. And why do we do that? As I've said before, it's a way to get kind of a high, sweet feeling without having to do anything. We don't have to take any substances to feel good. All right, release that right foot, shake out your hands, and then switch, cross your other foot over, your left foot, and then gently start to rub your left foot. So get comfortable, make sure you're in a place that feels good, and rub that foot. So you can start with the ball of the foot, the lungs and the chest area. 7,500 nerve endings per foot. Then rub the instep of your foot, that's all the digestive area. And then the heel and the ankle are the hips, low back, sciatic part. The instep of your foot is a mimic of your spine. So just notice what you need today. And then we're gonna finish off hanging out with the toes. The toes are the head and the neck and the shoulder area. So take one of your fingers, you can take your thumb or the index finger, and I want you to press and release the puffiest part of your big toe mound. This is activating the pituitary gland. This is wonderful for releasing oxytocin, a feel-good energy. Press and release, and let's do our two deep breaths. Inhale when you're ready. Hold the breath, close your eyes, go to your happy place. Imagine all the best things in your life. Be grateful for everything, the good, the bad, family, friends, your work, your lifestyle. You get to create your life, so make it what you want. Exhale if you haven't already. There's a little saying that I love, inhale. Hold as long as you can, comfortably. And this is my saying, happiness is wanting what you already have. Good, exhale. And hopefully you have a little bit of a blissed out energy coming through you now. Good, and then let's just give the foot a little rubby rubby and then shake off the hands. Rub the hands together, we're gonna create an energy ball. A chi ball, open your hands and then bring them back together. Don't quite touch. Curl your fingers, sit up with a tall spine. Notice if you can feel or sense energy between your hands. Create this positive, amazing effect of electromagnetic energy. Chi, prana, life force, charisma, and in between your hands is the most healing energy for you at this time. If you have a pet or a friend nearby or a family member, you can gently just give this ball of energy to them. 
If you'd like to, you can give it to yourself. You can float your hands to your own heart, to your face, to your knees, and just see where you bring this energy ball. And I'm just gonna sweep my energy ball three times over my sweetie puka dog. Does that feel nice, my pukas? Good, and then rub the hands together. I think she liked it. And then come onto your hands and your knees. So we're gonna curl our toes under, see how you feel here. And we're just going to bring our hands back so that our toes get a really deep stretch here. See how this feels. Now, if you're feeling up to it, what would it look like to bring your hands to your thighs and really press deeply into those toes? If that feels like way too much, leave your hands down. If you can, let's hold for one more breath, stretching those toes. Ooh, that's a big, deep stretch, isn't it? And then release your hands back down. Release your feet, take the right leg behind you and just seesaw your toes back and forth. Awesome. Let's do the same on the left. Draw your right knee in. Left leg extends long. Excellent. And then we're going to bring the toes and feet flat again. Hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Curl the toes under now and lift, coming into your downward facing dog. And I love to walk the dog, so lifting and lowering. You can stretch one side at a time, just getting a really nice stretch through your whole leg. You can press your chest into the floor, lift out of your wrists so you're not dumping all your weight there, and then switch. So your right knee is bent now, or the opposite, and that left leg stretches out long. Good, and then we're gonna gently walk our hands up towards, or sorry, our feet up towards our hands, Ragdoll body, slowly coming in to a standing position. Good. Find your Tadasana Mountain Pose. My favorite girl gets to wear the Aloha sweater. She's a smoothie. And we're going to find our Tadasana Mountain Pose. So standing upright, you are tall, you are graceful. If it feels nice, lift the toes and then lower them down from the outside in. And just feel a sense of pride in who you are. You get to be you, the best to your ability. I'm here to remind you that you are amazing. If you take deeper breaths and smile, Focus on the positive. You can have an effect that's like throwing a heart-shaped rock into a pond or into the ocean and sending that ripple vibration out into the world. Be a spark of joy. Be a love spreader. My favorite compliment that I've received lately is a smile maker. Be a smile maker. That's like a huge, amazing, kind, thing that you can be on this earth. Love this beautiful earth. Find beauty here. Send it out. Receive it back. Now let's step the feet a little bit wider apart, about shoulder width apart, and we're going to spiral the hands from side to side, knocking on the door of life, which is your dan tian. It's the very center of your body, just under your belly button in the middle of your being. You can look over your shoulders, your hands tap into the belt channel of the body, and this is where we store all of our good energy. It's like a reservoir or a sanctuary for all the good chi. Doesn't matter what system you're using, this is very powerful, and it helps to bring out stagnant energy in our mind, body, and spirit. Now keep the head facing forwards, just a little bit of a different stretch for the neck and for the spine twisting. Good. Slow it down. See how you feel. Pause. Come to standing and just enjoy the afterglow. We're going to stand upright on our left foot. 
Raise the right toes and circle through the ankle. If that's not available, leave your toes on the ground. And again, spread your toes as wide as you can. Think about being aquatic in nature. And then go the other way. Your body's mostly made of water. Water is such a healing element in the body. Good. And then we shake again. Shake forwards to the side and shake behind you. Put that right foot down, left foot. If it's available, do up that zipper up the midline of the body. Lift through that left foot and circle around at the ankle. And again, toes spread wide. You can hold on to something. Toes can also just stay on the ground. And do your best. Look at a focal point that's not moving. Find your balance. It's amazing to do a balance pose every day. Go the other direction. Open up those awesome toes. Puka hears the neighbors coming home. They're gone now. Good. And then shaky. Shake front, shake to the side, and shake behind you. Excellent. Coming into standing, back to Tadasana, your mountain. I want you to be an impressive mountain. Finding that energy from the earth, drawing up that stability and bringing it through your mountain and then finding your arms reaching up as high as you can if available and connecting with the sky with the heavens and it's our heart area that stays connected to nature all around us beautiful let's finish off bringing the hands to the heart i'm sending you all of my love and aloha spirit i wish for you to have a beautiful day and please follow up this class if it feels right with one of my meditation videos Lead yourself through a guided meditation. The light in me greatly honors and sees the light in you. Namaste. Great gratitude for you. Take good care. Aloha.